Welcome to the Cosmic Buster. My name is Bobby Cody. In this video, I want to take a look at a CNN article and use it as a jumping off point to look at giants of the past. And in particular, we're going to end up focusing on one particular monument in the United States that I believe and some other people believe is evidence of giants of the past. And I think it'll blow your mind once you see it. So stay with me uh, throughout the video. I think I'll blow your mind. I'm going to cut right now to the CNN article. We'll, we'll take a look at the CNN article and why I essentially use it as the jumping off point for that. So let's go to the CNN article right now. This article is from CNN. It's dated Friday, December 20, 2019. It was written by Kelly Murray. Link down below. Headline reads, the world's oldest known fossil forest has been discovered in a quarry in Upper New York State. Evidence of the world's oldest forest, dating back some 385 million years, has been discovered in an abandoned quarry in upstate New York. The fossilized roots, footprints of an ancient landscape, belong to trees with wood and leaves, similar to what we would see today, the study says. The scale of the root systems were really striking, said William Stein, lead author emeritus professor of biological sciences at Binghamton University. Okay, I want to stop right there because it was that statement. The scale of the root system was very striking that really caught my eye. And it was actually why I clicked on the link to read that article to begin with. Uh, I read through the rest of the article and nowhere did they in the article on CNN do they discuss what was so striking about the scale? Not a word. It's very suspicious to me where they, they throw in this little bit and then they so curious, Whoa, what about the scale of striking? They don't tell you. Nothing. This horrible, horrible journalism. Uh, I, I wouldn't criticize necessarily the, uh, the journalist, the writer of the article. Uh, more than likely, the uh, the journalist did ask the questions, did include that in the initial article that was submitted to the editor, and then it, the article goes to the editor, and the editor strikes out certain aspects, and the editor struck out from the article what about the scale was so striking. Um, now, the reason that caught my eye is because uh, about 12,000 years ago, from 12,000, between 12,000 and about 10,000 years ago, it was called the Younger Dryas period. And this was a cataclysmic time period on Earth. Uh, Randall Carlson talks some about that. I'll provide a link to his channel up there, Cosmographia, where he does podcasts that talk about this time period and the cataclysms that occurred. Uh, during this time period, there were massive, massive extinctions. And there were huge, huge animals. I'm going to throw up some photos of the animals. Um, in particular, I'll throw up a, a photo of one bird um, from the past that was just absolutely humongous. It would have been able to come down, pick up a fully grown human and eat them. Uh, just unbelievable. Uh, there were also uh, beavers that were like the size of cars. Huge, massive beavers. Um, armadillos the size of tanks. Put up a link to those. I mean, just massive, massive animals, and they all went extinct. And everything that survives after that were minimized, smaller versions of these giant, giant animals. So now, what is interesting to me about this is, I, it makes me wonder if this fossil find is evidence of giant trees. We've heard, I've at least heard nothing about huge, massive, giant trees in the past. Nothing at all. I've, I've read nothing uh, in the mainstream literature, scientific literature, that discusses giant trees. But I have to think that they existed. And I'm going to show you in a moment some evidence that they do exist. And I'm going to show it to you in the form of a monument that everybody my age in America is familiar with because it was featured in one of the most popular movies ever done. Um, so what I'd like to do now is cut 
to a National Park Monument video. Uh, I'm going to edit it for my own sake so you can see it. And I may cut, uh, I'm going to edit a few other videos of this in. Because I want to take you to take a look at this National Monument and see if you can see what I think it is before I tell you what I think it is. Let's cut to that right now. What is the Devil's Tower? Scientists know that Devil's Tower is made of igneous rock. Uh, it's a particular uh, rock formed from lava. Um, but that doesn't tell how it got into its shape and what it is. Uh, it's my contention, and that of many others, that the Devil's Tower, located in Wyoming, USA, it's a national monument in the United States, and it's very famous to those who are my age because it was featured in the uh, culmination or climax of the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind or Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind as they renamed it later on. It's a tree trunk. It's the tree trunk or tree stump of a huge giant tree that existed in the past. Just like there were giant animals there were giant trees as well. That's why that CNN article um, raised my eyebrows. It talked about the scale of these root systems from 365 million years ago. They don't say what about the scale. Maybe, may, just maybe, the reason that the root systems that they found were so giant is because they were the root systems of a giant tree. Um, I'm going to put up a photo of a tree stump here, modern, normal tree stump. Also put up uh, the uh, Devil's Tower over here. You can see the, the similarity. I mean, the Devil's Tower looks like a tree stump. Um, it's my contention that of many others that it's a fossilized tree stump. If I'm able to find it, uh, there's a gentleman who has a channel called Moss Mud Fossil. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. Um, he claims to have found a fossilized giant leaf, huge mass of leaf on the ground. If I'm able to find that video, I'm going to post that up here as well so that you can go and take a look at that. Uh, but once again, uh, another thing, I showed uh, that giant bird that we have uh, found. Uh, you can see it up there. Uh, I'll put it up there in comparison to the size of a human. Where in the world did those giant birds make nests. Giant trees! Makes sense. Um, if the scale of all the animals is so large, I have to think that it's more than likely that there were giant trees as well. Uh, and a Devil's Tower is the remains of a giant tree that existed in the past. It's a giant tree stump. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be posting another video pretty soon. I'm trying to play a little catch up since I got my phone fixed. Um, and also thanks to everybody who donated. Much appreciated. It's very kind of you. Um, so I'll try to post another one soon, maybe today or tomorrow. Um, I have at least two more videos I want to do in the next 24 hours. Uh, everyone have a great day. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully I will be posting tomorrow as well. Thank you.